this video, we are going to talk about 72 countries I can travel to in 2022 without a vaccine. So before starting this video, please like this video and subscribe to our channel for the future updates. As the Omicron wave dissipates, many countries across the world are loosening their COVID travel restrictions in order to welcome tourists again. Some still have tight rules for tourism, especially for those who are not currently fully vaccinated and may require a COVID test before travel. Here's what you need to know about the countries traveling without a vaccine. Here's the description of 72 countries I can travel to in 2022 without a vaccine, let's start. Zambia. Zambia is a large, landlocked, resource-rich country with sparsely populated land in the center of southern Africa. Vietnam. The Vietnamese countryside is magnificent and, if possible, you should extend your trip to include at least one rural adventure. Venezuela. Venezuela is a country located in South America bordering the Caribbean Sea and the Atlantic Ocean. Ukraine. Ukraine, country located in Eastern Europe, the second largest on the continent after Russia. Uganda. Uganda is in the African Great Lakes region. Uganda also lies within the Nile Basin and has a varied equatorial climate. Turkey. Make time in Istanbul for a boat trip to the Prince's Islands in the Sea of Marmara. Tanzania. In western Tanzania, on the shore of Lake Tanganyika, Mahali Mountains National Park is known as one of the best places for tourists to see chimpanzees in the wild. Tajikistan. Tajikistan, the smallest country in Central Asia, is landlocked and mountainous. Sudan. Sudan is a country located in northern Africa bordering the Red Sea. Neighboring countries include Central African Republic, Chad, Egypt, Eritrea, Ethiopia, Libya, and South Sudan. St. Vincent and the Grenadines. St. Vincent and the Grenadines lies in the eastern Caribbean Sea. It is made up of the island of St. Vincent and the northern Grenadines. St. Martin. St. Martin, also spelled St. Martin, country within the Kingdom of the Netherlands in the Lesser Antilles, northeastern Caribbean Sea. St. Lucia. Blitzed by strong Atlantic waves, St. Lucia's escapist east coast is another world entirely. Beside kite surfers and some sun seekers on Kasenba's Silver Sand Beach. Sri Lanka. Gal, an exotic old trading port on the southern tip of the island. Here you'll find a mix of Dutch colonial buildings, sleek boutiques and roadside stalls piled high with rainbow fish. South Africa. The Cedarburg Wilderness Area is three hours north of Cape Town and often overlooked by international tourists. Somalia. Somalia is a country in Africa bordered by Djibouti, Ethiopia, Kenya, Gulf of Yemen, and the Indian Ocean. Slovenia. The Italian at Karst region around the Scotchin Caves is an emerging food destination yet to be gussied up for outsiders. Seychelles. Forget the Instagram to death on Source Dargent Beach on La Diga. Hire a guide, essential, and undertake the sweaty, challenging hike through the forest to Once Marin. Serbia. Serbia is a landlocked country in southeast Europe which covers part of the Pannonian Plain and central and western Balkan Peninsula. Senegal. Located in the westernmost part of the African continent, Senegal is bordered by Mauritania, Mali, Guinea, and Guinea-Bissau. Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia is a country in the Middle East bordering the Persian Gulf and the Red Sea. Sao Tome and Principe. Sao Tome and Principe is an island nation in the Gulf of Guinea off the western coast of Central Africa. Rwanda. Rwanda is a landlocked country situated in Central Africa. Also known as the land of a thousand hills. Russia. Opt for the brief white night summer season of long days and balmy temperatures in St. Petersburg or experience some wintry romance when the palaces are swathed in snow. Portugal. Green and granite northern Portugal is famous for its port wine, grown in the spectacular Douro Valley. Poland. Miraculously escaping damage during the Second World War, the walled Gothic city of Torin is a wondrous mix of medieval, Renaissance, and Baroque architecture. Panama. A visit to the Panama Canal is a must. 
At the Miraflores Lots Visitor Center, you'll learn all about how this magnificent feat of human engineering came to be. Oman. If you're visiting in monsoon, Karif, season, from June to September, make time for Salala. Norway. Norway is too dauntingly big for just one bite, so unless you have unlimited time, pick a region, south, center, or north. North Macedonia. North Macedonia is a landlocked country bordering Kosovo, Serbia, Bulgaria, Greece, and Albania. Nicaragua. Nicaragua is the largest country in Central America and is slightly bigger in area than New York State. Nepal. Nepal is a landlocked country in South Asia and is bordered by China and India. Namibia. The Namibran Nature Reserve a protected area of sun-bleached grass, burnt orange dunes and low, rolling mountains in southern Namibia. Mozambique. Mozambique is a country in southeastern Africa. It has a coast on the Atlantic Ocean and is bordered by Malawi, South Africa, Swaziland, Tanzania, Zambia, and Zimbabwe. Monaco. Sea breezes keep hot summer temperatures pleasant, and temperatures rarely sink below 13 C in winter. Mexico. Mexico's west coasts lapped by the Pacific Ocean and boasts all-inclusive resorts that range from laid-back to luxury. Malawi. Malawi, landlocked country in southeastern Africa. Endowed with spectacular highlands and extensive lakes. Madagascar. Madagascar, an island country located in the Indian Ocean off the coast of southern Africa, is the fifth largest island in the world. Luxembourg. Luxembourg is a small, landlocked country in Western Europe bordered by Belgium, France, and Germany. Lesotho. Lesotho is a small, mountainous and landlocked country, surrounded by its much larger neighbor, South Africa. Lebanon. Lebanon, country located on the eastern shore of the Mediterranean Sea. Kenya. Anyone interested in Maasai culture should visit Shampol in the Kajiado district, south of Nairobi, on the border with Tanzania. Kazakhstan and Kyrgyzstan. Kyrgyzstan, country of Central Asia. It is bounded by Kazakhstan by China and by Tajikistan and Uzbekistan. Jordan. Be warned that if you're visiting Jordan in the height of summer it's extremely hot. Israel. The ancient port city of Akko, also spelled Acre, isn't as busy as Tel Aviv and Jerusalem. Ireland. The southern parts of Ireland's west coast get all the glory, but don't skip the counties of Donegal and Sligo in the northwest. Iceland. From February 25th, thanks to the improved epidemiological situation in the country, there are no COVID restrictions, both for travel or domestically. Hungary. During spring, Hungary's countryside blooms with flowers, and in autumn it shimmers in shades of red and orange. Haiti. The country of Haiti is located in the Caribbean on the western third of the island Hispaniola. Guinea-Bissau. Guinea-Bissau is a country located in West Africa bordering the northern Atlantic Ocean between Guinea and Senegal. Greece. The spirit of the ancient Greeks is tangible in its mythical landscapes and multitude of archaeological sites. Gibraltar. Gibraltar as the southern tip of Iberia was the last refuge of the species before extinction. Georgia. Make sure to spend some time riverside in Tbilisi, the river Mfuri wriggles under the dry bridge. Gambia. The Gambia is a small, fragile country in West Africa. France. France is on the whole very safe for tourists. However, the UK Foreign Office has maintained its warning that there is a general threat from terrorism. Eswatini. Eswatini, formerly known as Swaziland, is a landlocked country located in southern Africa. El Salvador. El Salvador is the smallest country in Central America and is smaller than the state of Massachusetts. Egypt. It's worth stressing that the vast majority of visits to Egypt are trouble-free. Dominican Republic. Not many people make the effort to reach Monte Cristi, the northwest province bordering Haiti, but those who do are rewarded with scenes of limestone cliffs and giant cacti. Denmark. For the visitor, this is probably Europe's easiest destination to enjoy. Czech Republic. 
Come April, May or September, October to enjoy most high season, June, August, benefits, including many sunny and pleasantly warm days, without the summer hordes. Cyprus. In summer, not winter, when the water is too high, hike the Avakas Gorge, near Paya to the north of Paphos. Croatia. The spotlight in Croatia falls most often on its intricate coastline and standout national parks, but there are quieter corners and simpler pleasures to experience. Cuba. Winters are warm, dry and popular. Avoid crowds and seasonal price hikes by traveling in spring, but give busy Easter a miss. Costa Rica. The cloud forests add to Costa Rica's sense of adventure and Monte Verde, home to 2.5% of the world's entire biodiversity. Comoros. Comoros is an archipelago island nation in the Indian Ocean located off the eastern coast of Africa. Cape Verde. You'll find plenty more in the way of beaches over on Boa Vista, which translates to beautiful view. Burundi. A landlocked country in East Africa, Burundi is a low-income economy where 80% of the population are employed in the agricultural sector. Bosnia and Herzegovina. Bosnia and Herzegovina is a southeastern European country located in the Western Balkans, bordering the Adriatic Sea. Belize. With 450 islands off its tropical coast, it's a firm favorite with snorkelers and divers, and in the Great Blue Hole and otherworldly marine sinkhole. Bahamas. The Bahamas has 700 islands, each with its own story, atmosphere, and experiences to discover. Aruba. Aruba is a small island nation in the Caribbean Sea, located 18 miles north off the coast of Venezuela. Albania. Albania has developed its tourist infrastructure in recent years, and there's now a good range of accommodation throughout much of the country. What do you think of our video? Let me know in the comments section below. If you enjoy this video and want to hear from me again, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go. Thanks for watching.